As a parent, you want what is best for your child, but what is best is determined by what you know. But over the past few years, your experience and understanding of college admissions have become outdated. If you did not attend college and have relied on the advice of friends or what you see in the media, you require more perspective. Parents, research and remain open-minded. Hi, I'm Margaret Meek, and this is Advice for the Parents of College Applicants, Three Truths and a Lie. Unless you have applied for and attended college in the last few months, your experiences and ideas are not wholly transferable when advising your students on the process. Further, appreciation for the full options of what defines college has grown. Community colleges, trade or vocational schools, colleges, and universities offer bright opportunities and bright futures for your young adults. Making sure you understand each style of school and the possibilities they hold for your student is crucial to helping your child find the right educational fit for their skills, personality, and their view of the future. The most important concept we need to share is that your young adult needs to be driving the college admissions process. You are there for advice, to be a devil's advocate, and to motivate and help your student understand the advantages of continuing their education. And the benefits are many from expanding their understanding of themselves and their world to the increased financial opportunities. Now is the time to trust what you have taught your child over the years and what the value is in their life. Place your confidence and trust in your student. They need to have control of and responsibility for their lives. They can do this. From Nesta Wings will help you through this process, beginning with telling you, three truths and a lie. We're going to switch things up and start with the lie. Applying to college is the same today as it was for you or your older children, or as you have seen on TV shows or in movies. That is a wholesale misrepresentation of the truth. Admissions have changed since you went to school as the Common Coalition and Historically Black College Common Applications have been invented and grown to a point where students can apply to hundreds of colleges by completing one application. The cost of college has skyrocketed, especially in the last few decades, and the methods to earn money to help pay for school have grown and changed. Make sure you understand all of the costs associated with going to college. Gather information on tuition, fees, room and board, books and supplies, living costs, and college application fees so that your advice on the topic of finances is up to date. Make sure you are not steering your child away from further education over the fear of the costs. There are ways and there are people available to help. The FAFSA allows students to fill out one form and share their financial information with any community college, trade school, or university they may wish to attend. This process allows students to see a fair comparison of the cost of each college to that individual student. Some states have created funds to cover the costs of community college. There are more scholarships and grants available than ever. Employers are paying for their part-time and full-time employees' college costs. Information on the blessings and curses of loans is plentiful and available to your student as they make smart financing decisions. And the last two years of the pandemic have changed college admissions at a quicker pace than any movement to reform education. The role of standardized testing like the ACT and SAT has changed dramatically. Between test optional, test blind, and test required status for colleges, applicants face very different issues on how well they perform on such tests. There are all kinds of challenges and blessings held in these changes. Legacy admissions or special status being conferred on an applicant because a family member previously attended that school are falling out of favor. In some states, they are illegal. Do not count on your school lineage, meaning anything to your child's application process. So now for the truth. Truth number one. This is a short and emphatic truth. We are sorry it needs to be said, but it does. You cannot complete your student's application for them. An admissions counselor has told me that if they have reason to believe an application has been completed in whole or in part by a parent, they are to immediately shred the application and let the student know they need to start over. 
The fact that they have this policy tells you that it happens more often than it should. Parents speak and write in a different voice than their students, and it is noticeable. You can proof the application for them. You can ask your student questions of clarification. You can help them figure out what dates they accomplished which feats. You can make suggestions. Just don't insist that all of your tips be taken. Remember, if your student cannot complete the application and earn admissions on their own, they will not be successful in their college career. Applications are your student's job. Selecting the school they will attend within the parameters you present is your student's job. Let them own this success. Truth number two, you are needed in the college admissions process. While the role may not be what you have done to date or envision for yourself, your role is important. So what should you be doing? Most importantly, you need to be encouraging your child to go to some form of college. We recognize that college is not for everyone. We understand that you do not need to attend college to make a life for yourself or your family. We also understand that going to college in some form will increase the opportunities available to your child. First, discuss with your child. Actually, have more than one discussion. Start when they are young, reviewing what the possibilities are for their future. As you get closer to high school, expose your student to the various types of colleges and careers available in this world. Then, as they move through high school, hold discussions on what they see for their future. Ask about their activities and how they are demonstrating their skills through organizations, sports, or activities. Encourage your child to take a wide variety of classes. Make sure you use these meetings to talk through what they are learning in high school and how they react to the topics. While grades do hold value, knowing what subject matter is appealing to your student is very important to the path they will choose with their education. One of the few areas in which you as parents have full voice is in helping set the parameters for your student's college choice. This doesn't mean you get to choose the school. You absolutely should help your child understand the level of support you have to offer their educational journey. Let your student know the amount of funding you can or can't support as a family. This is important not only in discussing tuition, but also travel costs. Help your student understand that while you are there to provide emotional support and the occasional kick in the tush, there is a set amount of money you can provide. Please remind your student that their applications need to be honest and that sharing their successes is not bragging. They earn those experiences. They need to share them on their applications. As your student goes through the application process, you should be helping them meter their reactions to their interactions with colleges. There may be great joy or disappointment. Make sure neither is the sole driver of your student's life. College acceptance or lack thereof is just one step in their full and fun lives. Truth number three, you have more information at your fingertips than parents have ever had. You can educate yourself on how to be the best resource for your child. If you did not attend college, that is not a hindrance to your being a great support to your child. Read, ask questions, and learn. In some ways, you're in an advantage in that you don't have to relearn. And in some ways, you're at a disadvantage as the terminology may be confusing. For all parents, by working through From Nest to Wings videos on the admissions process and reviewing the documents found on our website, you can become a much better help to your student. Research the types of colleges available, the timelines for admissions, challenges faced by college students, especially the first year, how to finance what is a significant financial commitment, and learn more about each college your student expresses an interest in attending. Evaluate the information you gain through the lens of what your student needs to know. Utilize a filter that helps your education be focused on that one young adult. All of this is at your fingertips, on your phone, in the library, and through your student's high school counselor. Those counselors are a fantastic resource available to you. Utilize them. Any education decision by your child is not made without your influence. You must be prepared to invest in and learn about the process and your role in supporting your student. Guide your student. Make sure your student is making the choice, not you. Trust your student. 
Encourage your young adult, educate yourself, and be willing to understand that your life experiences are yours. They form who you are, but they do not, in and of themselves, inform the best advice you can provide your child. Manage your innate sense of wanting the best for your student by educating yourself and trusting your child. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button and perhaps consider subscribing. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments down below.